The creature helped Sonya up to her feet several hours later. Sonya looked down, seeing a charred body lying on the ground. How on earth is that possible? Sonya thought, looking at her reflection of a puddle. <laughs> looking yeah, at her reflection of, of a puddle. puddle. <laughs> her sapphire blue eyes had become pools of ink with a sapphire jewel in the middle. Her skin was pure white. What remained was her chocolate hair that flares out at the bottom. Wait, wait, her chocolate. It's not like chocolate coloured hair. Yeah. It's like she's just got like a kinder egg for her head. Her teeth had become razor sharp. Get stuck to my fucking single tent. What have. What have Sonia's father done to her? Sonia's father is plural, apparently. She was forced. What into have a, science done? Into a life unknown to her in the future. The creature started its way back into the forest, no, not knowing what to do. Sonia follows it. Just come on! The newspaper, the next two years, published. So, v- slow news, two years. <laughs> <laughs> this to what? News today, everything is alright. Killing spree outrage. 15 people dead in one week. Crime scene in Forest, where 17 year old Sonia Worthy, who went missing after illegally murdering her. <laughs> As opposed to legally murdering. Her own mother and father. Most believe Sonia is dead by now, but it makes the officer wonder what really happened to her. More on the story on page 13. Hey, Jaden! Darian called out. They believe that Sonia girl is not dead. Jaden started to laugh. You mean the girl who had the voice of a siren? That's the one! Both Jaden Who would say that? Darian laughed after drinking at a bar. What? This is just written so badly! Hey, what do you say we try to track her down and bring her to the police? That way we can make some money out of her. It's made unclear who's speaking. Sure, better than working my ass off tomorrow morning. I'm not doing the voices because I don't know which of them is speaking. Also, like, um... I don't... Th- they didn't say anything about putting a bounty on her. And you do want to track down someone who's killed two people already and possibly 15 more. Both Darian and Jaden got their flashlights on and went out into the forest. They walked to where the charred Did body bring his dual deck with him? of Sonia Worthy was starting to rot. Ugh, Jaden said in disgust. Even her body in the aftermath is disgusting. Just then, both Darian and... Is Darian even a name? Right, so... And Jaden heard what, it's, what it sounded like banging. Hold on a second. So, they found her body. No one cleared up her body. It was in the newspaper and it said two years later... You hear that, Jay? Darian asked. Jade nodded. You're not imagining this time. Get your game on! They walked some more and notice a ghastly white girl and three boys. One of the boys had a white mask with black feminine features covering his face. Please don't. Don't do this. He wore an orange jacket, blue jeans and black converses. Don't, no. Another boy had a black mask with red features of a frowny face. He wore a yellow hoodie, black jeans, and converses. The third boy had a brown hoodie on, blue jeans, and black converses. The girl had on a black bra under a black leather jacket, dark grey shorts, and black knee-high boots. The girl turned around as both Darian and Jaden's eyes widened in disbelief. The girl was Sonya Worthy. Sonya spotted the two boys with her black eyes with a sapphire blue in the centre. Change of plans, guys, she said to the three boys as she pointed to Darian and Jaden. Get them! Both Darian and Jaden ran off into the forest as Sonia and the three boys chase after them. Just, just a bit back before this. They found her body, but she might not be dead. Alright, I think maybe like... She's like a ghost, but with a physical body. Because didn't, didn't, I thought when Slenderman picked her up and she looked down at a child body, she was looking down at her dad. But maybe she was looking down at her own body. I thought that's what it was supposed to be. That's no, why she looks in a puddle herself. This is fucking dumb. Right, um... Darian's foot suddenly... And it gets caught in a hunter's trap. Darian yelps in pain. Jaden, help! J- Jaden ran back to help Darian get out of the trap and fast. But before he can even get close to Darian, Jaden receives a hatchet to the head and falls flat on the ground. Sonia and the three boys had caught up to them. No, please, Darian begged. Sonia, I beg you, mercy. I won't come to this place ever again. The boy in the white mask looked at Sonia with concern. You know him, Sonia? Sonia didn't say anything and finally answered. Yes, he used to hurt me. Sonia turned away. Show him no mercy. It was very nice of him, but you know me. I don't do mercy, just as dad. Then all went back, all went black for Darian as scream of terror and pain rush 
across the night sky. The faceless creature spawns in hearing the screams. I thought I told you not to randomly kill others. Relax, slender man, Sonia exclaimed, wiping the blood splatter off herself. They were on the list for ages now. She fucking Arya Stark. She turns to the three boys. She turns to the three boys. Be off and continue work. I'll catch up. The boys ran off into the forest, into the darkness. I... I know you need to talk to me. Make it quick. Slenderman nodded. I do need to have a word with you. I bring you to an official role of my proxy. Though I do have some conditions. Sonya lo looks at him in a bit of disbelief. Slenderman gives Sonya a black trench coat, a black turtleneck, grey jeans and a grey mask with a blue flame over the right eye. I do have a dress code, he says, giving her a link of chains for her primary weapon. Sonya takes the items and looks at them. Because I gave you a new chance of life, it comes with a price. Because you were bullied to the name of Sinya Sonya, you can lose control and become awakened. So to be safe, I'm giving you a new name to be called. Then what name will that be? From now on you are silent Sonya, roll credits. The reason why is that others kept you quiet for so long. Now it's your turn to silence the- well to silent those who put you to silence. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Sonya looked at what Slenderman has given her. Not only has he gave her his way of life, a permanent job to work on, but he also gave her a name to be safe. Sonya slipped on the jacket, changed to her jeans and wrapped a blue scarf she once had from her old life as a human around her neck. She finally got to her grey mask and slipped it on. She glares out from the sun rising amongst the trees. Come it's on! Not over yet! Fuck's sake! I thought... There's nothing else to say. There's no more story left to tell. Well, there's still, what, four paragraphs? <sighs> this just in, a news reporter announced the next day. Jaden White and Darian Jackson were... Was murdered last night <laughs> in the Slender Forest. The Slender Forest! <laughs> Investigators ran towards the scene after a 911 call said that a woman heard screaming from a room. Not from the forest, then. They immediately noticed almost every organ in both bodies were chopped and diced and spread all over the crime scene. Very similar to the death of Michelle Worthy's death. The death of the death. So Michelle Worthy can never die. <laughs> they killed the concept of death in the woman, so she's super immortal now. The only suspect they believe would be Michelle's daughter, Sonia Worthy whom others believe that she survived from being lit on fire by her father after coming home from prison. Uh, Even how, though, how did they not find her body when yeah. they found the bodies of the two boys? Or is the body like a supernatural thing that you can only see if you're about to die? Like think, the white uh, horse also, in Twin how Peaks. How did they know that her dad was the one who set her on fire? Uh, Actually, you, no, it's, I'm, I'm thinking wrong about the white horse. That's, I'm thinking about Bob. The, Laura's mother sees the white horse and is fine. Spoilers! <sighs> Diana saw the news and snickered in disbelief. There's no way that bitch would have survived. She has no right to be living anyway. She deserves to die. Diana got up, grabbed her camera from her nature club and went out to the door. Her assignment was to look for some rare plants. In uh, the Slenderwoods. Her first to go was the forest, where the deaths kept going on. Okay, Diana, she said to herself. Just for 30 minutes and it's all done for. Diana took a deep breath and walked into the forest. It was nine in the evening. So, what school... Because like, well, we have an assignment. We want you to go into the forest where 15 people have been confirmed killed recently. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I mean, I haven't actually bothered to learn any of your names this year. So if you die, no skin off my nose. It was nine in the evening. She turned her flash on her camera and started to take some pictures. Fifth, and then new word, teen. So they've written fifth as in the fifth something. Fifth scene Fifteen minutes passed when Diana was about to take a picture when she noticed something what, in the what, picture. Like, why are you taking pictures in the dark for a start? She zoomed in, seeing a woman staring back at her. The woman wore a black trench coat, a black turtleneck, grey jeans, a blue scarf and a grey mask with a blue flame over the right eye. The mouth of the mask Get looked like on. it was sewed up. The woman had flared out chubby hair as dark as milk chocolate that fell to her shoulders and eyes like pools of ink with demon-like sapphire jewel in the centre. Obviously, when I think of sapphires, I think of demons. Hey, miss, Diana called out. You need... <laughs> you need some help or something? Right, so someone's just like rolled up, 
dressed in like you know a, like as fucking trench coat mafia yeah and with a flaming blue eye I'm just like you need some help not I'm totally a demonic murderer <laughs> she's gonna have a bad time instead of an answer the woman charged at Diana giving her a chase Diana dropped her camera and broke into a scream she tripped into a hole in the dirt and fell to the ground the woman caught up and Diana screamed for mercy okay okay what do you want just don't hurt me the woman got close to Diana's face and spoke Oh, I am very surprised you don't recognise me, Diana. It's not like I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> the woman pulled off her mask, showing her fierce face. Her black eyes yeah. screaming death all over. Diana's eyes widened. Sonia, but you're supposed to be dead. How did you... Diana's mouth was covered by Sonia's hand. I know. You thought of that like everyone else. You thought I was the real Sonia? <laughs> Sonia pulled out her chain and it wrapped is. it around Diana's neck. Diana screamed and struggled to get out of Sonia's grip. But it was too late for her. Sonia stomped on Diana's stomach. Like, yep, yeah, blah, 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 violence, violence, violence. That is nice of you, Diana, but I don't do mercy. And just like that, Sonia pulled both ends of her chains, making her suffocate. Aye, 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 Diana. She gestured as she placed a finger on Diana's lips. Just settle Go down. Go to sleep. Just settle down, girl. And girl is written G-U-R-L. Wait, wait, where is it? Like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. You'll see. Diana tried to scream. But the only words she heard before dying was just dot 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 b dot 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 silent dot 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 that's the end jesus fucking god sweet christ on the pogo stick let me guess since it's even r and we haven't covered it yet everyone's kissing its ass okay there's a bit of a mixed bag actually but um dream Guarder says this oc is a uh, good oc that's seen worse but overall this is a pretty good oc i think the ending was my least favorite part where sonya killed the bullies Maybe make Deanna get away. Maybe she could tell the police that Sonya wasn't dead. That would be uh, a little more interesting. And uh, maybe Diana gets uh, gets group. Gets group to trap Sonya. I don't know. I love and hate the catchphrase, just be silent. It's not go to sleep, but it's, it's almost like that. If I'm wrong with something, could you reply? Maybe we could chat about each other's OCs. Um, I don't, I'm not going to read the, the chain of them sucking each other's dicks. Uh, Mr. Horrifica says, Your OC has a lot of potential to become no, a very good character, but there's a few things that bother me. Well, I would tell you what bothers me, but it seems you have been told about it quite a bit. Their appearance doesn't look very scary, to be honest, but that's probably because of the way she's drawn. Not hating on the art style. I am. <laughs> Other than that, your OC seems very nice. Jay Sarcastic simply says, Separation anxiety is only found in babies and dogs. <laughs> okay, here's a more uh, e- a more honest comment. Eli Cherry. I don't want to be rude. It's okay, that's our Please job. Please be rude. That's all right, we'll, we'll take care well, of yeah. that. Yeah. But I don't think dot dot dot, well dot dot dot. You're not actually talking. You don't have to put these bits in. Yeah. It's not really dot dot dot. Separation anxiety doesn't do that. I think multi-personality disorder suits the story better. So Slender Man and the others are her other identities. Bullying and child abuse doesn't really cause separation anxiety. Only uh, depression and plain anxiety and autism. That was the only problem with the story, I think, was that she got separation anxiety. That was that was the one problem of the story. It's got three pages worth, which I we quite, won't be... I quite like this, the, like the fact that the author replies to this comment. Edgy Pastel, Pastrel, says, The girl had on a black bra under a black leather jacket, dark grey shorts and black knee-high boots. She sounds like a hooker, to be honest. And the author just replies, she's not. <laughs> I mean, she isn't real. Like, Oh, God. And uh, Tiki Tob, whose opinion counts for a lot, says, this was cool, actually. Very good. Now, Matt, in, in um, sort of, uh, you know, sort of contradiction, perhaps, to what the, the denizens of DeviantArt have to say, the critically-minded people over at DeviantArt have to say, what did you think of Silent Sonya? A disconjointed lump of shit. Mm. Horrendous. Like, well, if you get past the spelling mistakes and the tent swapping, it's still just this random mishmash of like poorly thought out ideas, like hodgepodgely simple. Like, what was the point in, like, her brother nailing his uh, mum? What was that there for? Like, oh, we needed a reason to stab her. Who well, was not a reason to stab her in the first place? It seemed like. Uh, was this like I would say left over from another draft but clearly you didn't draft shit yeah this is horrendous yeah I mean before I even get on to the story there are a few things 
one, I think this probably has the most amount of ten like raping of the concept of tenses I think I've ever seen in a story. Just like from a grammar point of view, the tenses are worse than Squidward Suicide. A video where we basically put a fucking TARDIS in the corner to you know, to count up all the times that time travel appeared through bad grammar. Second of all, the lack of proofreading. There are so many sentences that don't make sense. So many words that are used incorrectly, so many horrendous like typos and spelling mistakes. Just just go back and look at it or have a friend look at it. But then even if, past you, that, even, even if you, if you corrected out, all of yeah. that, you've still got trash. You've still got what is honestly, and I am not, this is not hyperbole, this is not me trying to be funny or trying to be edgy, what is honestly one of the worst ones we've done in the fucking, what, f- over three, three and a half years we've been doing this show? This is one of the worst ones. I'm not even ones. counting, like, in the, like, all oh, the excessive, vi- like, we've read more violent ones. Yeah. We've read more, like, sexually disturbing ones. Yeah, this I'm is not, still up there with yeah, like, I'm not talking about like the level of degeneracy or whatever who fucking cares at this point but what, yeah, just what I, as a story yeah. itself is an insult to literature yeah it's bad like, it's really bad it's, it's cringy it, it's attempt to be kind of cool and edgy with the like character designs and things and like the con like the, the converses by the way they're not called converses alright you don't need to pluralise converts alright you can converse trainers perhaps but you don't pluralise converses alright or converse uh, all like, stars but the thing is with the sort of character designs and everything, and the sort of uh, and the burning alive, like it tries so hard to be like an edgy Jeff the Killer kind of story, it's and it's really, really edgy Jeff the Killer. Yeah, and it's really cringe. Like it's really cringy. It's like right, it's this story's so bad. It's making me look once again. It's making me look fondly back on Jeff the Killer. Absolutely. I, I, like, this is much worse. That's than a Jeff terrible the thing to do. Yeah. Um. Honestly, this is really fucking bad. Now, this is one of the. Let's put it this way. If you don't believe us. Look at the comment section. This is on Deviant Art of all places, right? D- Deviant Art, which is basically like just one huge circle jerk, where people just constantly congratulate each other yeah. and backslap for the for for the staggering mediocrity. Well done. It didn't make I me want to vomit. Yeah, I guess that's my stamp of approval. Yeah, and basically- still, and still, there are people in the comment section on Deviant Art saying, "Don't hate me, but this wasn't very good." On Deviant yeah, Art. The best way to describe Deviant Art is imagine a bunch of uh, people. Standing around in a swamp, jacking each other off. Bunch of furries standing yeah. around in the swamp, jacking each other off. Horrendous. Okay, so th- big fucking thank you to Evil Cat Twenty Three for for suggesting this to us. Good God. On the bright side, it's over. Yeah, it's done. Fuck. All right. And thanks very much for tuning in to Bad Creepy Pasta. Could come along to the next episode that probably won't be as bad as this one. Hopefully. You never know. Yeah, you Despair never know. Despair Springs Eternal, you know. Subscribe if you want. Um, and check us out. Support us on Patreon, Twitter, all those funny places where you can buy hats. Thank you. <laughs>